Je dis à vous nous montrer solidarité avec les peuples haïtiens qui ont besoin de défouquer Jovenel Moïse qui est illégal. Mandat fini. Il est pour le gouvernement Canada, États-Unis, France, qui a piqué le journal Moïse de Anna. Il a dit la guerre. La dictature dans le pays d'Haïti, nous campons pour nous dire que la justice, la dignité et la préparation, c'est ça, Haïti. Le peuple haïtien, il réclamait et c'est ça qu'il méritait. Non, mais tout bandit qui a pas mis zéro, mettait faux président, président pour Pétuel, qui ne peut pas ici. La conférence de Montréal sur Haïti démontre une fois de plus l'appui et la solidarité du Canada envers le peuple haïtien. Nos discussions ont été franches. Elles ont... Africans have always been seen as a threat in the Americas, not as assets. And when you have a, a former uh, Canadian minister for la francophonie, Denis Paradis, who convened this meeting to plot the overthrow of Haiti's democratically elected president, um, this meeting took place right here where I am. Perhaps that's why I talk about it with so much passion, uh, that a bunch of white men and women met and they decided, and you see the quote here from Denis Paradis, he says, time is running out because it is estimated that Haiti's population could reach 20 million in 2019. It is a time bomb which must be stopped immediately. When they refer to black people as a time bomb that needs to be stopped immediately, you don't need to be schizophrenic or paranoia uh, to understand that this is barbaric language. Because what happens is that these foolish people who were meeting at Mitch Lake had the means to do what they were dreaming of. And so 13 months later, white soldiers entered the residence of the president, kidnapped him and his wife, and took him to the Central African Republic. And this is not something that I'm just reading in books because I went to Haiti for the bicentennial. I'm presenting their congratulations to the head of the states. Je dis à ce on nous bourge pour nous nous-mêmes. On l'a fêté de son sang. Parce que sans la valeur, c'est même pas qu'elle est pour nous. À nous, on a eu un peu de tuer, nous l'a eu à la nous-mêmes pour que ça nous-mêmes. Nous-mêmes, nous sommes juste pour nous avec ça. Parce que nous sommes même solidaires. À nous, nous voulons avoir ça là. December 31st, 2003, I was in one of the big hotels of Pichonville, in the lobby, facing this man. And uh, Canadian uh, envoy to the OAS, David Lee, who was with him, they looked drunk, but that's no excuse. Um, Luigi Anaudi said the real problem with Haiti is that the international community is so screwed up and divided that they are letting Haitians run Haiti. We asked him to repeat it and he did. Of course, uh, when we returned to Canada, we published all kinds of stuff and the media refused to print that quote uh, on account that th there's a word screwed up there that's not kosher. Well, we said, you know, I cannot fix his words for him. That's what he said. And so President Aristide demanded uh, that France returns the restitution money. And so he was kidnapped um, 
and uh, the United Nations troops invaded Haiti in June to consolidate the coup because they knew this was a popular president. Therefore, they needed to have a force on the ground to placate the communities. If you look at the pictures of the leaders of the coup, these are all so-called Haitian businessmen. Almost none of them here are Haitian. Uh, some of them are um, the uh, consulate, the, the, the representative of foreign states. Gilbert Bijou, who is supposed to be the richest man on the island, um, uh, is also the representative of Israel in Haiti. Andrea Aped, whose name you'll hear again. All of these guys, they put the money together to organize the coup against President Aristide and the Haitian people. 7,000 elected officials were toppled. I, take, I put this picture here simply to show the difference between when the Haitian people choose a president and when the white supremacist forces choose a president for us. The fool you see on the left here is Michel Martelly. That's his stage action. You know, uh, I know uh, Donald Trump was popular because of this phrase, you know, grab them by, well, this guy, he was grabbing himself on stage all the time. That was how he's known. And Hillary Clinton intervened in the Haitian elections and demanded that this man be placed in the second round and lo and behold, he becomes president. Now, on the other hand, on the right, you will see this young lady who graduated last year from Université Fondation Aristide, uh, the university established by the president who was kidnapped and sent to exile uh, in Africa. When he returned in 2011, which is exactly 10 years ago, he said that he was going to invest in education. And this is exactly what he did. Est-ce qu'on pense que 21 points que le président saute non mais là, c'est pas qu'il y a possible que nous capable de manger pour mon en haut avec mon en bas capable de manger dans pays. Oui, non, 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 c'est pas possible. Parce que ça va essayer, ça va illégal lié. Parce que nous souffrons sur nous-mêmes. Ça veut dire là, ça ne peut pas faire des votes fait. Mais nous même pas ici, nous mobiliser, nous mettre ensemble pour faire la fête, pour mettre en force, pour jouer le manger, pour jouer l'école, pour jouer le hôpital pas là. What they are doing right now is establish a model of Rhodesia in Haiti. The same guy, Andrea Aped, who you see here, who created the Group of 184 to conduct the coup in 2004, Jovenel Moise, the fake black face uh, puppet president uh, that he put in place, one day after his term expired, as uh, our, our sister Gabi mentioned, well, he gave this whole territory there in red to Andre Aped. And so all of the leaders with Michel Martelly, you can see they were all light skinned. And so these guys started to be nervous and say that, well, the Haitian population might revolt against Michel Martelly because he has all these light skinned Haitians around him. Let's go and find a dark Haitian and make him president. And this is what they did with um, this guy there, Jovenel Moïse. But Haitians are not foolish. They understand that Jovenel Moïse is what we call in Haiti a samama, that is a motherless person. And he, but he has many fathers and all of the fathers of Jovenel Moïse are white. Thank you. C'est un impérialiste là. C'est un impérialiste là qui virus là et nous même comme haïtiens et bien nous gagne chance parce que nous déjà vacciné parce que c'est Dessaline qui vaccine. Dessalier. C'est Dessaline qui vaccine et c'est solidarité qui remède là. OK? Imperialism is the virus, solidarity is the cure and Dessaline is the vaccine. So as vaccinated people, we are not afraid to go to the 11th floor where we're going to uh, present the uh, declaration from the people of Haiti and their friends, their true friends, who are going to say that we have a constitution that was adopted after the um, dictatorship and that constitution is still valid. One of the things that is in that constitution is the article 141, which explains how Haiti chooses its ambassadors, 
and general counsel. And so we have a man in this building who's been going around calling himself the ambassador of Haiti, whereas he never went in front of the Senate for the Senate to analyze, to verify whether he is a thief, whether he's a criminal. And that's how, after the vote of the Senate, a person who is chosen as ambassador goes abroad with the title of representative of the Republic of Haiti. And therefore, since this did not happen, we want to tell this man that he's the representative of a gang leader in the person of Josephine Moise and Barbecue another gang leader who is responsible for all kinds of massacres even recognized by the government of Canada as such. And so we will uh, go upstairs and deliver that message because Haiti is a real country. Alors nous allons demander à notre frère qui a signé la pétition avec nous de nous dire quelques mots en français. Nous sommes ici aujourd'hui pour dénoncer la velléité dictatoriale de Jovenel Moïse et ses consorts. Et nous sommes ici aussi pour dénoncer et ce dit ambassadeur qui a été nommé illégalement, arbitrairement par Jovenel Moïse, puisque son mandat est terminé depuis le 7 février 2021. Il n'a ni titre, ni qualité, ni légitimité pour décider au nom du peuple haïtien pour décider quoi que ce soit. Donc, en ce sens, toutes les décisions de Jovenel Moïse sont illégales, illégitimes. Nous sommes en face d'un nouvel régime dictatorial et nous disons non, non, non à la dictature. Nous ne reviendrons plus, plus jamais à la dictature. Et c'est pour ça que nous sommes ici présents pour dénoncer cette dictature, mais aussi pour dénoncer la complicité du Canada. La complicité du corps en général dans ce métier de la dictature en Haïti. Nous disons que le peuple haïtien a aussi droit à la démocratie, le peuple haïtien a droit à la dignité. Donc, nous dénonçons la complicité du corps groupe qui accompagne activement la dictature de Jovenel Moïse en Haïti. Il y a mon abat ou Il faut monter pour Bon, d'abord la caille. La caille. Ah, bonjour. Comment ça va?